Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, happy Saturday. We made it to the weekend. Yay! And as you all are recuperating from your turkey daises, let's get on with uh, another day of uh, tarot readings. Um... Before I get started, though, I ask you all to please extend a prayer for Albert, for everything he's going through. I've mentioned it before, but he's taken over the position of caring for his mom after his sister died in March. Um, he had to move in and, uh, you know, make sure she's taken all her meds, make sure her house is clean, you know, and take her to doctor's appointments and all these other things and in the meantime he's trying to fix up the house to make it nice for her because uh, she's 89 and in pretty bad health and he just wants to make her last days you know as comfortable as possible but on the other hand there's his siblings And, frankly, they just don't care. They don't want anything done there. And they cut on anything Albert tries to do. Let me give you an example. Well, his mom wanted some French doors off her bedroom. And Albert and his sister had been talking about this for a long time. Him and his sister had talked about a number of things they wanted to do at the house. But his sister died before, you know, a lot of the stuff could be done. So, yeah, she wanted these French doors put in. And everyone said, no, 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 you know. And they just... Pretty much all had something to say about it, and it was all negative and stuff, and heck, Albert went ahead and did it at his mom's request, and his one brother is supposedly in such bad shape that uh, he couldn't help Albert put him in, Albert had to get a friend of his to come help him because uh, his family, they don't, they don't help him with anything. To be frankly honest, they just, they don't. I guess this one brother was, it was lucky enough he got this one brother to haul some stuff, um, like the doors for him. But after he got him there, he would not help Albert with them at all. Yet, uh, come to find out, just recently, that same brother helped their sister put in French doors. After all this, you know, that's just the type of people he's dealing with here. You know... Now, this one brother I could say a whole lot about, but uh, I, I won't. I won't get into the deepness of it. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's just cutting on Albert. Anything Albert wants to do, it's, no, you don't know what you're talking about. No, this will never work, and... Blah, 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 you know, but uh, it's a whole different story, you know, if it's something that they want, but uh, they don't want to see anything going on at the, their mother's house, nothing at all, they don't want anything changed, it's like they want to keep it as this, this little tomb, shrine, mausoleum type deal. And Albert's trying to change things so it'll be different, it'll be brighter, it'll be happier, you know, for her. Well, his mother was wanting a dog, and they were wanting to get a puppy for her, something that could be trained. Well, that same brother 
got this dog, hardly knew a thing about it, didn't know, you know, if it needed to be taken out to, for walks or just let outside, didn't know which vet it went to, didn't know anything about it, and he just drops it off and leaves. And it's an old dog that was owned by a, another woman before, didn't know a thing about it, and this dog has been just doing its thing on the carpeting. Just any time it, uh, it feels like it. You know, you can't, you can't turn your back on it for five minutes without it going and relieving itself someplace. And everything I've heard, it smells like urine so bad when you walk in the door. Plus, his mom has respiratory situations, too, and she shouldn't be breathing in all that stuff, but, uh, no one seems to care. Of course, though, you know, I'm sure a lot of them will be happier, you know, when something does happen to her, because that same brother took out a life insurance policy on her a long time ago, and, uh, you know, he's going to be cashing in when something happens to her, so... Oh, and get this. That brother told Albert earlier this year, because, you know, their mom likes her clothes and she doesn't like to throw things away. She's a small-time bit of a pack rat, but not majorly. It's nothing that bad. And he told her that he told Albert that he can't wait for her to die so he can just cram all those clothes in with her coffin. Now isn't that a nice thing for a son to be saying about his mother that supposedly he loves? And I, well, I won't go into the fact that they never come to visit, hardly. There's been some that's only been there. Well, other than that one particular brother I'm talking about, he does stop by once or twice a week or so for about an hour or so but uh, a lot of the others you know maybe half a dozen times tops some even less than that in the eight months that Albert's been over there he hasn't seen hardly any of them and that shows you how much they're concerned about her and let me see there's a Another sister that keeps, oh, everything. She just complains about everything. I've never heard her say a good thing about anything at all, unless it's hers. If it's her idea or what she wants, then it's a good idea. But uh, anything else, she's just nah, nah, nah. She's just, you would not believe. And she's hardly been by. But she's had time to take all these expensive trips and stuff and stay in timeshares and all like that. But she can't come see her mom. And she doesn't care, you know. They just don't want to see any money invested in that. And these two siblings I'm talking about, by the way, their mom had loaned them some money. Well, not loaned them, but asked them to hold on to some money. I'm sorry. She asked them to hold on to some money for them that belonged to his sister that died. She had got a life insurance. I, I forget what it was. There was uh, she had gotten her stimulus. She had gotten um, another big check. I forget what that was for. And she asked them to hold on to this money. She asked Albert originally, and, you know, he didn't want that, you know, type of responsibility. He probably should have, because then at least, you know, he wouldn't have held on to it till she died and not used it. But these uh, two siblings have it now, and, you know, they just will not part with it. And... You'll never see it again, I'm sure. Meanwhile, Albert's trying to get this stuff done over at the house, you know, and he can't get hold of the funds to do it because they just simply will not give it up. 
I guess they're planning on waiting until their mom dies so they can keep it for themselves. Anyway, Albert's uh, big plan is uh, he'd like to put a shed out back. And uh, the basement's filled with stuff. And I have pictures I can show you sometime, but uh, it's just almost to the ceiling high and you can barely walk through. And it's just crammed with stuff. And there ain't no room for anything else. There is absolutely no room. And uh, since his sister died, Albert's been sleeping in his sister's bedroom, which is a small little dinky room. And, you know, I don't come over because I don't feel... I don't know, I don't feel comfortable. It's someone else's home, and I feel awkward. Plus, you know, dealing with his siblings is just too much, you know. I I figured out their number a long time ago, and I haven't said anything to Albert, you know, much. I've been like, okay, these are your siblings. I don't want to say nothing, but uh, he soon... Once he got to be around them enough, now he's still, he's he's seeing their uh, their true natures, and uh, you know he's starting to wonder if he wasn't adopted or something, because he can't believe he's related to these people with their their lack of morals, I guess you could call it. So this is what he's dealing with. And then there's another brother that, uh, well, he his job is replacing septic tanks, okay? He'll work in that stuff all day long, come in with muddy hands, muddy shoes, and you know what kind of mud he's been playing with. And he goes right for the refrigerator, doesn't wash his hands, doesn't take his shoes off, refuses to, you know, <laughs> and he wants to just handle and touch all the food and stuff, and that is just so unsanitary and so gross, I can't think of anything worse, you know, than having to eat after somebody that's done that. <laughs> But then again, no one cares. Everyone says that's just how he is and goes on with it. It's like this is the mentality of the people he's dealing with. <laughs> and as I said, they're fighting him tooth and nail on everything he wants to do. What he'd like to do is put in a shed in the backyard to replace the one that's already there that's half fallen in. So he can put the garden tools and stuff in there, plus also clean out the basement. And then he wants to like put like a little place in there so he he would have a place to stay. You know? And then it'd be some place where, you know he takes time, like four to six hours a day to come over here to check on me and make sure I'm okay. That way I could go over there and, and hang out and in the basement and he wouldn't have to leave over there. He could stay there with his mom longer and then he could check on me, make sure I'm okay downstairs because I've got a number of health problems and stuff. But anyway... No, 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 of course, from his siblings. They don't want to see that. They don't want to make it, you know, easier on Albert or anything. They just want to complain. Oh, and when he said he'd put in a building, he's like, they, they're they like, you can't do that, it'll attract mice. It's like, Jesus, he's not going to be storing cheese in there, you know? It's... Put some mouse poison in there, do something, you know, it's like, I've never heard of being so defeatist over a couple mice, but this is their mentality, 
And this is what he's button heads over all the time. So, if any of you out there have been listening, still, <laughs> please, write down in the discussion below, please, let Albert have his shed. <laughs> I don't know what good will it do, but, uh, yeah, and just, just pray for Albert to have the strength to make it through all this. I've learned the hard way that family isn't always what it's cut out to be, and now Albert's learning the hard way himself. So let's get on with those the card reading then. I'll get off of that now, and let's let's get on with the card reading. Okay, sorry I have to cut the tape up like that, but I'm trying to make my StreamYards minutes last while I can. Um, yeah, today's card reading. Oh, I want to tell you, too, that, uh, Susan, I've almost got that video done. I'm working on taping it, and just got to finish up the taping and, uh, do some editing on it, and it'll be done, hopefully, uh, well, tonight, uh, we're going to do some special taping on something, a special event happening in the area, but then hopefully I'll have it out by tomorrow, I'm going to try, okay, so let's cut the deck, hmm, Let's do it this way. Okay. Your card is, today is, let me see, it's the five of wands. That looks like a spooky one. And to make matters worse, guess what? Yep. It's reversed. So let me give you a reading with the reverse card. The Five of Wands reverse meaning can be that your, nat that your natural method of dealing with disagreements is avoiding any kind of conflict by getting away from that place as fast as you can. Sometimes this can be regarded as a good thing, but other times it may lead to a number of issues that are brewing within you for which you have to address soon. On the other hand, it can also mean that you have worked through your troubles and that you do not have any more issues to worry about. So this one isn't too bad reversed. The reverse love meaning uh, keywords are avoiding conflict, trying to maintain peace in relationship, and resolution. Issues of how you deal with conflict can affect your relationships now. If you're in a relationship, Ensure that you haven't been bottling up your resentment to avoid conflicts that the two of you need to have a smooth partnership. Eventually, avoiding difficult conversations leads to an erosion of trust. Remember that everyone has the right to their needs, and having needs does not make you any less lovable. If you've been doing the hard work of expressing yourself honestly with your partner, however, you may find that misunderstandings are cleared up. What was once arguments may disappear once honesty and clarity have been achieved. Now, reverse career meaning. A reverse five of wands here means that the conflict and competition which has been in your work life recently is ending. It might be that you are moving to a less competitive industry or the environment around you is gradually becoming more friendly and relaxed. Regardless, this is a welcome change. It is a reprieve from your recent work conflicts that will allow you to invest your energy into other aspects of your life. Okay, and now finances. Keywords is peace after financial stress and escalation in conflicts about money. This, can, this card can mean a turn away from financial stress. You have completed a battle against your own finances and are about to enter a more stable time. 
Without the support of other cards, it can mean an escalation and conflict over money with loved ones. In that circumstance, any debates you might have with one of those around you about money are likely to increase or persist. So there you have it. The reverse five of wands. That wasn't so bad after all. Normally the reverse ones are, but this one, nah, not so bad. Well, thank you all for joining me today. Sorry about the a little vent. Please pray for Albert. He really needs it right now, I'll tell you, with everything he's going through. Um, so, until tomorrow, blessed be, peace, believe, and bye-bye.